Yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Blitz of Tower. First and foremost, I'd like to say that this is not a brassiere. It is a undershirt. It is a tank. This thing is too baggy to be worn, so and I thought it would be cool to layer it. And also I'm wearing a scarf as well. Um, I'm not sure how to wear it. Anyways, um... It feels uncomfortable when it's on my when it's off my shoulder, but it looks cool when it's off my shoulder. Anyways, what was that? Oh yeah. So like you see, I haven't been feeling, or like I have been feeling it myself, but not really, like not really, because something I've noticed is that like I just I cannot seem to find anything that reflects who I am as a person anymore. Like no longer, that's like nothing now. Like not even like the mirror. Like I look into the mirror and I don't, I, I've not seen myself. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm looking into the camera right now, the webcam. I'm seeing myself reflecting back to me, but it doesn't look like myself. Even though I know that this is my physical body, just it does, it does not look like me. And I've been trying to create stuff that is that that reflects who I am, but it just it feels like I'm trying too hard and it doesn't feel authentic. I do not know what Tao is, I do not know how Tao can be re represented in a physical form. Do I really have to exist as an entity and not as like a physical vessel? Like what is going on? When is this going to end? When am I, I, I know that eventually, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll feel it myself again, but currently I'm not. What is going on? Um, and you see, initially I designed this channel as like a like a kind of museum or whatever to try and and showcase represent who I am as a person. Um which includes moments like these when I'm totally, totally, totally confused. Um I'm sure that that Coke no sugar will help. Coke vanilla no, vanilla coke no sugar. It's delicious. I feel sad that I haven't had a can of monster in about a day. Anyways, yeah, the back to the back to the main point. I have not been feeling like myself. What do I do? How do I represent myself in a different form? Um, what's it called? I created that portal, right? That really cool portal. I coded it myself using HTML code. It took me a few months. Once I finished it, I'm gonna show it to my English teacher, Mr. Ladder, and I hope that he'll be proud of me. I'm not sure why, but I just like to show it to him. I think that'll be cool. Um. Anywho, um, what's it called? But yeah, that portal that I coded that I spent months coding, that that was also designed as to to represent who I am. But I realized that that portal doesn't represent who I am. It's just a bunch of colorful colors and me talking about my interests. But my interests are not who I am as a person. Because like, it's 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 confusing. Like, I, throughout, this has been a problem throughout my entire life as well, I've noticed. Like, when someone says, like, describe yourself in three words, I cannot do that. I, I've never been able to, well, I mean, I probably used to, but I don't remember the last time that I was able to, like, encapsulate who I am in three words. Not even in two words, or one word. Or a lot of words. I cannot think of any words to describe me. And that annoys me. Who even am I? What am I even doing here? Oh yeah, that's right. My therapy session. I know what I'm doing here. I'm going, I'm, I have a day off school on Tuesday. And my mom and I, we both uh, have taken the day, I took the day off school. I'm taking the day off school, mom's taking the day off work. And we're going to go to the therapy session at 11.30, I think. I don't really know. I'm not sure what time it is. 11.30, that's pretty late. Like, usually on weekends, I wake up at, like, 6. Well, usually I do wake up at 6. So, 11.30, that's, like, I, I, I've i already gonna be awake for, like, 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 five and a half hours before I go there. 
So I need to find something to do in that time. Oh, that's another thing. Do you guys ever feel as though, like, you just want to destroy absolutely everything you've created about yourself and just construct and cultivate a brand new version of you and just do something new and do something bold? Well, yeah, that's what I've been thinking about for the past few weeks. I don't know if I, like, I'm, I'm kind of bored with who I am, but I don't know how to do anything else differently. Because, like, I've been thinking, like, should I change my hair? I've tried experimenting, experimenting with different things. Because, of course, I'm allowed to do my own hair. Um, but nothing else. Like, you see, if I, if I try to do something differently about myself and change something about myself, then it just it feels off and I don't like it. Because I know that I'll look absolutely horrendous if I have a different haircut other than this. Um, I've tried doing my makeup differently. I look horrible if I do my makeup differently. Well, actually, no. I tried wearing lipstick, and I think that I kind of like it. I've tried wearing different clothes, but I actually know that's a lie. I haven't tried wearing clo different clothes. These, I, most of my clothes are second hand. I bought this yesterday. I bought this last week. I bought these pants a few months ago. Yeah, that's right. I also have this other shirt. You know how I was talking about the thing that in my last video I was talking to you guys about how I had I bought that new cool, cool tank with trees on it. Oh well, yeah, this is it. Except I don't think it's trees. It's just triangles. That's all right though. And also it says that it's a size small, size S. Or it doesn't say size small. It says size S. But it's still absolutely massive. It's like a drizz on me. Anyways, we all was like, oh yeah, that's right, I also need to decide what I'm going to have for lunch on Tuesday. Because it's very, it's, it's a really quite con confusing choosing what I'm going to have for lunch. Because, you see, my mom, she said that as, like, I'm going, like, she's like, we're going to therapy, and my mom, she's going to wait in the car. She said that she was going to get herself, like, a cheeseburger or something from McDonald's. And that I can get whatever I want once I've finished for lunch. But, you see, the thing is, I don't know what I want for lunch. We've been planning this for like a week. I don't know what I want for lunch. Or I don't know what I need for lunch. Cause like I'll have any, actually no, that's like, I won't have anything. Ah, uh, that's what I'm stuck on. Cause like, you see, initially I was going to get pizza from my favorite pizza place, but that's closed. My second option would have been sushi, but sushi is also closed. My available options are Subway, Burger King, KFC, McDonald's some Turkish kebab place and uh, what else was there I don't know but you see I don't really want any of those but you see like I have to have one of them because my mom said that if I get one of those for lunch then I should get me a can of monster which I desperately need um but you see the thing is I I don't want to get like McDonald's or whatever because like that's gross I can't get KFC because, I mean, yes, it's chicken, chicken is protein, but it's also deep fried. Which is... Uh, uh. Also, I don't really like the KFC chicken and nothing else there is very appealing. And also very high in calories. Uh, Burger King? I mean, I ha usually when I go to Burger King, I just get a hamburger. Because it's, it's four bucks, it's cheap, and it's tiny. But at the same time, it's it's too much bread. Um, I was gonna get one of those Turkish kebabs, but like those are absolutely massive. They're like it's like that big for a small one, which it's nice and it's filled with vegetables, but it's also filled with a lot of chicken and a lot of sauces. And the wrap is like so thick and there's like way too much wrap. I it's probably very high in calories. And not I I, I can't get a Subway as well because that's once again bread and too many carbs, too many calories. It's, it's usually my subway order. It's 427 calories. You can calculate it on your website. On the website, you can calculate how many calories your sub has on the subway website. Um, and yeah, 427. And like, the thing is, it's mainly the bread. Bread is just carbs. And like, it would, it would be like really sad to have a subway without the bread. 
you know, if, if, I, if I were the world's dictator, if I were God, I would, I would like to change the cat, the amount of calories things have. Because bread, it's mainly air. Like, you cut open a piece of bread, it's like a bunch of little air bubbles and some beige looking stuff. It should be low in calories, because it's mainly air, but guess what, it's not, it's carbs, it's full in calories, it's super calorie dense, even though the actual thing is not dense, it's super light and airy, and that makes me so sad. So yeah, I can't have any of those lunch. And there was another sushi place, but that place is overpriced, and sushi makes me feel sick. Um... What else do I have? What are my other options? There's another pizza place around the corner, right across from my gym. Um, but I don't like that pizza place. Because once again, the pizza place, that bread is like so thick and then it's like, it's like that much pizza, that much bread. I cannot do that, no. Uh. What do I have for lunch instead? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'll figure that out later. Oh, I know. Konjac jelly on rice cake with more rice biscuits to the side and a can of monster. No sugar monster. That would be delicious. And then I would have a fried egg white for breakfast. Tasty. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Uh, bye bye.